Hey, what's up, Cooksy Mob? How are we doing? I'm back with another little video. I got some interesting stuff today. Chad Reed to World Supercross. Uh, Dylan is returning. Uh, MX Sports and Feld. That's a strange marriage, but it looks like it's actually happening. Um, yeah, uh, and don't forget, guys. So Epic Garage Designs, they're not a show sponsor. They're just a friend of mine who I really like, and they got really cool stuff that makes your garage. They got slat wall. Um, but I'm promoting them because I just think they're cool and, uh, yeah, I just want them to be a part of the show. Eventually they may be a show sponsor. I'm looking for sponsors that give back to my listeners and they're definitely one of them that could give you guys discounts and get you guys garage looking good. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into this. I'm in the empire business. Everybody love everybody. You all know exactly who I am. All right, guys, so this World Supercross thing is getting bigger and better by the week. They are stealing headlines and sending shockwaves through the industry moment by moment. The latest one, Chad Reed, coming out of retirement to compete in World Supercross. Reason being is Chad has been a very, very vocal person about how the system is broken. Yes, he competed in it. Yes, he made money. Yes, he did his own team, but he also looked at the, the supercar series that they did in Australia and said, wow, that, that's the way you run a series. That's the way you build a series. And these guys are using that same model, taking a lot of Chad's advice. And I think that's part of the reason he's so excited to be a part of this. It's historic, guys. It is literally raising the level of this sport that we all love to a super high level. So it's nice to have Chad Reed on board with the World Supercross for the inaugural year. It's historic. And even though it isn't a full series, it's pretty cool to have Roxon, Tomac, Reed, Muskan, Brayton. I mean, seriously, this is no joke. This is no world, world, you know, one-off, like, oh, has been riders, never was. This is legit, guys, so pay attention. It has frightened, frightened Demick Sports and frightened Feld, but we'll get into that in a second. Dylan Ferrandis. So I talked to you guys about him, and I wasn't sure when he was going to come back. I text his agent, Jimmy Button. Jimmy Button said, the plan is Unadilla. Uh, he's coming along good, and they're looking at Unadilla. They go Washougal this week, then a week off, and then they go to the final four races, the third period, the important time. So look for Dylan Ferrandis to enter into the pitcher at Unadilla. What do you guys think he'll do? Do you think he'll win? Do you think he'll be top three? Will he be able to match that pace of Sexton and Tomac? I don't know, man. They've raised that level so high, it's hard to jump in in the middle and, and be right there. But he's a defending champion, so and he's super good at Unadilla. We'll see. Uh, it depends on how healthy he is and how much he's been riding, in my opinion. So I got some details about this Feld and MX Sports. So Feld is the promoter for Supercross. They handle all that. The stadiums, they got their own crew. They do all that. MX Sports handles the outdoors. They're two completely separate organizations. Feld is sanctioned by AMA in Ohio. MX Sports is sanctioned essentially by themselves, which is AMA Pro Racing based out of a little building in Daytona. And all their officials are MX Sports employees. So essentially they're sanctioning themselves, so they're not sanctioned. They just fake it and they have AMA Pro Racing. But Feld has a real sanction. And I would imagine the AMA in Ohio is probably gonna sanction so what they're going to do is they're going to do a grand national championship that is going to combine both supercross and motocross points. They're going to have like three or four rounds at the end of the year. They're kind of hybrid outdoor supercross type tracks, similar to Monster Cup. They're increasing the purse for the both championships, $10 million. So this is a direct response to World Supercross giving back. This is awesome, guys. Where's this money been all these years? Why have they not been giving it back? With that said, I don't want to kick a gift horse in the mouth. The fact that they're raising this raises the level of the entire sport. Thank you, World Supercross, for forcing their hand and breaking the monopoly that was and showing that this sport actually is very profitable. And these guys are scared to death to lose this cash cow. They know how much they're making. They're willing to part with this money because they can't. And what the great thing is, is I heard they're negotiating with NBC, which Feld has a great rela relationship with NBC. MX Sports, well, we've seen what they've done with TV, so maybe they should just step the back and get out of it. 
but it looks like this whole Grand National Championship will be NBC. Allegedly, what I was told is MX Sports is adding $1.5 million to the purse. Then uh, Feld will add $1.5 million to the Grand National purse. And then NBC will be bringing the additional $7 million to make it 10 We'll see how that all plays out, but it sounds like a great thing for everybody. It sounds like a great thing for the sport. And the guys who don't go to World... Now, now we're going to have guys, 22 guys over there making money at World Supercross. And now we're going to have a bunch of other guys over here making money. And, you know, and I think they're going to be striving to do good to get to the World Supercross. So we're going to have... We're going to have amazing series all over the world. This is just, for us, the fans, we win. We win all the way around. We've been asking for this forever, and we're finally getting it. And I'm stoked. I couldn't be happier. Uh, the one thing I'm disappointed at, but I shouldn't be shocked. Allegedly, Feld, or I'm sorry, MX Sports, and they're so stupid. They're so greedy. Uh, I'm sorry, but they are so greedy, it's ridiculous. So they're coming up with $1.5 million out of their end. Well, now they're dinging the tracks an extra 30000 per round. Well, come on, guys. That's, you know, $300,000. Like, come on, man. You really got to ding them 30000 These tracks who've been, you've been milking for, you know, years, and now you're going to hit them even harder? After a year when they put everything together and you totally screwed the TV package. That's all on MX Sports who screwed our TV package this year. So you've cost these promoters money. And in, in, a, in a, you know, in a, in a go, but like you can't give them a year, give them two years grace, let them make a little bit of extra money off this grand national championship. And then, you know, once that you've proven that you have a product that is making them more money, go ahead and raise it, but don't do it right now. You're so greedy. You're shooting yourself in the foot. Stop it. MX sports. Shame on you. Shame on you. Coombs family. If this is abs if this is true, allegedly, which I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but yeah, and I want to thank you guys for blowing up this channel. I want to thank everybody who subscribed. We are crushing it. So thank you guys. Uh, I'm not even going to ask you to subscribe. You guys are all doing it. So thank you. And all right, guys, I will see you later.